One of the biggest challenges in large language model applications is extracting clean data from PDFs, which, when done correctly, leads to relevant and hallucination-free results. Well, I found an open source RAG engine that is based on deep document understanding, and it will provide you correct and clear generation. Introducing RAGflow. RAGflow has created a retrieval augmented generation algorithm into this application, and it's something that's going to enhance the accuracy as well as the reliability of the large language models generation. Now, in simple terms, it means that RAGflow will have this in-depth retrieval system of knowledge, and this is where whenever we provide a it context, it's going to be able to have this process where it's going to take the unstructured or large data and it's going to efficiently provide you accurate and intelligent generation based off of whatever knowledge we had given it. Now, I want you to take a look at this short little example, which is showcasing how accurate the generations are from RAGflow's chatbot. Now, in this particular example, it is simplifying the process of segmenting, eliminating text, it is interpreting tabular data, and it is actually utilizing GPT-4 vision as a way to utilize the API so that it can retrieve information from even figures from the context that is given. This is the capability of RAGflow. It's able to segment it, summarize it, make sure that you're provided the most relevant information off the context that is provided. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. Now, in summary, RAGflow represents a significant advancement in data extraction. And it's something that is really valuable for a lot of us. And this is just the start. We're going to be exploring how you can get started, exploring the capabilities, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. But before we move on forward, I would like to showcase today's sponsor, DreamPal. DreamPal is a roleplay AI chatbot that redefines the chat experience by blending AI components with roleplay. It's like chatting with your favorite anime or game character. For example, I can basically chat with Elon Musk and have an insightful chat with him talking about futuristic tech or getting ideas from him. Just take a look at his realistic voice. I am not creating a company for the sake of creating a company, but for the sake of doing things well. Now, isn't that amazing? You can gain a lot more insights and create your own character by uploading your own image as well as your own prompts which will design what your character is able to define or say. If you are to click on the assistant tab, you can see that there is various helpful useful assistants like an emo responsive assistant or even a professional video scripting assistant that would craft compelling video scripts for you. They also have a very interactive Discord community that you can join so you can chat and learn what others are actually creating with DreamPal, which I will leave a link to in the description below. Now, that's basically it for DreamPal. This is an awesome and fun interactive AI role-playing chatbot, which is definitely worth checking out. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at the links in the description below. I truly found it to be pretty cool. So check it out and let's get right back into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at RAGflow, which is the ideal RAG like engine you can say that will unleash your document's full potential. Firstly, starting off with the feature of quality in and quality out, this basically means that there is a deep document understanding based knowledge extraction system within RAGflow. They're employing this advanced technique to extract knowledge from unstructured data with complex formats. And it's something that's going to ensure high quality results and it will be able to get the best quality in and best quality out. In this second feature, we see that there is a template based chunking. This basically means that it's going to offer intelligent and explainable approaches to chunking data. So users have the access to a variety of templates, as well as allowing for flexible, customizable data segmentation. The next feature is the compatibility with heterogeneous data sources. This basically means that RAGflow is compatible with wide ranges of data formats, including Word files, you have slides, Excel, text, images, scanned copies, structured data, as well as web pages. This is the versatility of RAGflow, and it's going to enable seamless integration with various data sources. 
Another feature is grounded and citation, and this is for reducing hallucination, where you can provide grounded citations, reducing the occurrence of hallucination in any sort of generated text that is being outputted from lag rag flow. It's something that allows for visualization for text chunking, as well as facilitating human intervention when it's actually necessary when you're working with the actual chatbot. And lastly, another feature is the automated and effortless RAG workflow. And this is where RAG flow is going to streamline the retrieval augmented generation workflow and it's going to cater to both personal and large businesses. It's also used for regular users who are just trying to get the best potential out of their files or any sort of PDF that is being provided. It's going to offer configurable large language models and it's also going to be allowing you to work with embedding models where there's going to be multiple recall capabilities, refuse re-ranking, as well as intuitive APIs for seamless integrations into any sort of existing workflow. So this is the system architecture of RAGflow. It first starts off with the component where you're sending different queries into RAGflow, and then you also have another component, which is where you're providing it the knowledge base or the context. So this is through different document types, such as your PowerPoint, your Excel file, or whatever it may be. It first starts off where the file gets dispatched and once the file is dispatched it is then sent over to the chunk where it will then use the document parser or these other capabilities to help you chunk and process these embeddings into different areas and whenever relevant information is needed it'll go through this flow to find the best information that is needed to basically fulfill that query it will also utilize the natural language processing system through a large language model to help you with this whole process so how do you get started well there's a couple of prerequisites if you're going to be installing this locally but they also have a demo where you can actually try this out on the cloud so this will give you a good idea as to what you can do with it and you can even compare it with other rag chatbot systems or other rag engines which will give you a good idea as to what the capability of rag flow is so the prerequisites are that you're going to need to have a CPU that's greater than two cores. You need to make sure that you have eight gigabytes of RAM or ab above, and you need to have Docker installed. And in this case, you already know my computer is not viable to install this, but it's kind of easy. You can set this up with the server, clone this repo, build the pre-built Docker images based off these commands, and you're going to be able to start the server quite easily with these commands. And it's easy as that. You can configure it, build from the source, and they have a lot more, uh, like I would say, uh, plans as to what they're going to be doing with RagFlow in the future. But now let's actually take a look at what you can actually do with it based off of this demo. So let's get started. What we're going to do first is create our knowledge base. And you can simply do so by clicking on this button. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to create a knowledge base for my channel where it will then provide relevant information for any sort of context about my channel. So I'm going to simply give it this world of AI knowledge base. Click OK as the name. And then you can see over here that they state a couple of things. General chunking method description. So you can see over here that the method that we have for the chunking method is for general use cases. But you can either choose question answering, resume, manual, table, paper, book, laws, presentation, picture, or one. So each of them will give you a different description as to what that chunking method will be providing you. So for manual, only PDF is supported. We assume manuals are has hierarchical section structure. We use the lowest uh, lowest section titles as pivotals to slice documents. So they give you a good description as to what is happening with this chunking method. In this case, general is more than enough for just answering basic questions about my channel. So you can give it a name, you can give it a knowledge base photo, a description. You can even give it or have it so that there's separate answers such as English or Chinese. So I'm going to keep it as English keeping the permissions to myself, but you can even share it with the team. I'm gonna keep the base text embeddings. You can even use open AI's text embedding, which is pretty cool. And you can just keep it the base token number. You can then just simply click save, go to the data set, provide it the files that are needed. So I'm gonna then give it a text file, which will describe what my channel is about maybe even specify a certain playlist and give you just a basic generic idea of what the channel is through this data set. One thing to note is that if you go to a data set, you can click on this button over here and you're going to be able to create your own chunk with your own file. So you can create this new file by just simply clicking on add file, create empty file, and you can name it whatever you want. And then you can see what's going to be enabled over here. And then you can even go and rename it and I believe if you click on this button, you can add another chunk method. You can even go into the file and you can edit it even further. So 
I think I need to click on this one, right? Okay, there we go. And let me get this message out of the way. Once it's gone, I can show you. There we go. So you can click on this button over here. You can paste your context that you want to work with. You can create that chunk for that particular context or that file that you just created. Add a keyword, click OK, and then you can actually start testing this retrieval out. So you can even go to chatbot and you can ask it questions right away. You can create a new assistant. You can add the assistant name, a prompt engine. You can add different model settings. And in this case, you're just a basic uh, assistant that's going to answer questions. So you can just simply load up your knowledge base. You can then click OK, and you can get started. So I need to just name it World of AI Chatbot. Click OK, and then you can ask it questions. Now, in this case, I never provided it actual files, but you can ask it like, what is World of AI? You can click Enter, and then go to the chunk, and it will then retrieve it and give you the an answer. And you can see right here, it provides relevant answer based off the context I gave it about the about page of my channel. And that's through just creating a file and uploading the chunking uh, or like the chunk of that context. And you can see over here, it gives me a relevant answer of what the channel is about. World of AI is a platform or channel focused on demonstrating the creative application of AI in everyday use cases. And you can see that it's if you're going to provide it large context, it's going to give you references like citations. So we can see this from the about page or that about us chunk. And you can see that if you had a large file, it's going to be able to provide relevant context and it will provide a citation to where it found that context. And this is just the capability of Ragflow. It's a really great system that you can deploy locally and get started with right away with this Rag engine to get the best sort of accuracy as well as no hallucination with the generation you get. Now, I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. This is definitely an amazing tool that will be really beneficial for a lot of us. And that basically concludes today's video on Ragflow. I truly recommend that you check, take a look at this. You can deploy it locally and get started with it. So this is something that you can do quite easily and very fast. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Patreon page. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.